guys, it's Dr. Hardy, your pediatric obesity expert. Thank you for tuning into this segment. Why are kids gaining so rapidly? Part three. Okay, so today I want to talk a little bit about how kids are influenced by the media. So you may or may not know that advertising companies have spent almost two billion dollars to create ads to target your children. So your children will see at least four unhealthy ads, unhealthy food ads out of five, okay? Four out of five ads that your kids see are about unhealthy foods. And this influences the things that they ask you to buy or they're aware of the types of snacks, unhealthy snacks um, that are available to them. So this is a little unfair <laughs> to the parent because now you have to explain why they can't have it or um, have a constant struggle as to why they're unable to get certain foods that they don't understand why they can't have. So do you think it's cool for advertising companies to target your children with items that they know are unhealthy, but yet they are still pushing the ads? And matter of fact, they are aware there was some, you know, policies that were trying to be put in place. They basically were getting called out these, um, snack companies and certain food companies were getting called out about this and they agreed that they would pull back and despite that agreement I think it was verbal there was nothing in writing they still pushed out more ads and spent more this past year than they ever had before so they didn't keep their word and now we are stuck with this influence and honestly the parents are stuck too because sometimes the ads portray the food as healthy and so the parents think that they're getting a pretty decent snack for their kids when they're not so how can we overcome this obstacle so our kids of all ages are seeing these ads and they're promoted everywhere they're promoted in stores, in schools, the internet, social media, um, product packaging, celebrity sponsorships, right? So imagine just having your favorite celebrity promoting something that is unhealthy, but they look up to that celebrity and they think it might be something good because they trust that celebrity. They think he or she's a good guy, good person, good girl and that it can't be that bad if this person is putting their name on this, attaching their name to this. And parents feel the same, that it's probably okay if this person is willing to put their name up on the line uh, with this particular food or snack or sports drink. As we know, sports drinks are not healthy and I have a video on YouTube about that. Um, so I go into you know why exactly you don't want your kids having sports drinks so but if there's a celebrity sponsorship for this sports drink we think it might be okay so there's some misconception there also there's disproportionate targeting of the least nutritional foods to minority groups so there's data that shows disproportionate targeting to minority such as Black, or other, in other words, black teens see twice as many food ads as white teens. And anyone have any idea why you think that is? I would love to know. If you're watching this on YouTube, put a comment, put you know your thoughts in the comments. If you're watching this on Facebook, put a comment. If you are listening on Anchor, um, 
there's not a place to put a comment on Anchor, but you can just go ahead and find me, Leticia Hardy MD, on Facebook or YouTube, and there you can interact with me a little bit more. So, um, studies have shown that white children um, get 15% of their calories from fast food compared to Hispanic children who get about 18% of their calories from fast foods and then black kiddos get 21 to 22% of their calories from fast food. So it makes you wonder if this targeting um, that's happening in the media toward minorities is actually working because the minority groups are eating more fast foods. They're eating more of the foods that are being promoted to them. So these are the things that companies don't want you to know. Matter of fact, ads are up by 24% for sports drinks and ads are up 78% for soda. So despite these companies saying that they were going to reel back promoting unhealthy items to our youth, we are seeing an increase of these ads being targeted to them. So, and to adults, I mean, it's not just youths, adults are drinking soda like crazy, right? The adults are the one doing the grocery shopping for these kids. They're seeing the commercials. Matter of fact, they're probably sitting there watching, you know, a children's show with their kids. You know, a lot of parents do that. They monitor what their kids are watching. And so they're seeing the same commercials. The only kicker is that, especially with teens that are on social media, they are actually helping the companies to promote those products because they make these ads so engaging. They promote them to comment on the bottom and share the post. And so these teenagers are actually doing all the work for them. They are doing the work for the companies by actively engaging and promoting the ad. It's pretty clever. So all they have to do is make the ad seem cool and exciting, put somebody in the ad that they really like, a famous celebrity, or even do a raffle. If you share this, we'll put you in a raffle to win a hundred dollars or whatever the case may be. But the teenagers are doing the work for them. So another kicker is, right, these food companies, um, especially fast food chains, they all have a healthy option now, right? You see the healthy menu. Um, everybody has some kind of healthy alternative now. So basically they can say, well, now you have a choice. You can choose an unhealthy burger or you can buy a salad or something like that. So um, studies show that although there are healthier options in these fast food chains, parents aren't necessarily buying the healthy options for their kids. So when they go to McDonald's, they're not buying a salad, okay? They're buying the chicken nugget meal with French fries. And I mean, that just makes sense, right? It's human nature. Are we gonna walk into a McDonald's and not get the fries <laughs> when you have kids who love those French fries? So um, I guess people figure if I'm gonna have a salad, I'll just make one at home. But if we're gonna go to a fast food, we're gonna buy them what they like. So what do you think? Are you guilty of this? Do you feel like you buy your kid healthy choices off of fast food or restaurant menus or do you feel like if I'm going to McDonald's I'm getting my kids chicken nuggets like come on so I'd love to hear your thoughts so guys these advertising companies that work for these fast food chains and um, these snack companies that make processed snacks are largely responsible for the childhood obesity epidemic. And what's crazy when we ask some of the teens, especially in minority groups, how they felt about being targeted by these companies, uh, specifically Hispanic teenagers said that they actually felt 
good and positively toward the companies when they saw that they were included in a commercial or an ad. So they felt like the company was being more inclusive and culturally aware and competent and it actually made them want to buy that particular product more because they felt like, well, this company recognizes Latinos, you know, and that makes sense too. So unfortunately, they're advertising the wrong types of food to the Latino community and minority communities, all communities, but more so to um, those communities. So that's the end of part three. Um, I will do another segment, I think one more segment about this topic. This is Dr. Hardy, your pediatric obesity expert. Thank you and see you soon. Bye.